welcome back to another virtual science short. My name is Miss Kaylee and today we are going to be dipping our toes into the wonderful world of coral reefs. Before we get started learning a little bit more about coral reefs, we are going to take a look at the materials you will need for our coral reef craft. For today's craft you will need tissue paper, battery operated LED lights, pipe cleaners, scissors, rubber bands, fish cutouts, and an egg crate or a paper origami boat. Now before we get started with today's craft, first we're going to learn a little bit more about coral reefs. Did you know that corals are actually made up of teeny tiny living organisms called coral polyps? These polyps come together and reside within the coral and make up our coral reefs. As you can see, I have an example of a piece of coral here. It's not quite as vibrant as all the corals that are behind me, but that's because of a very specific reason called coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is something that happens when the corals get stressed out. All of those beautiful colors in the coral come from little pieces of algae that are inside the coral's tissue. When the coral is stressed, it takes that algae and it spits it out, and that's where we get this white color from. If you would like to learn more about coral bleaching, check out our coral video with one of our aquarists, Alyssa. Now, one example of a coral reef system is one that you've probably already heard of, and that's the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system. It is over 1,600 miles long and is off the coast of Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is actually made up of around 3,000 different coral reefs, 600 islands, and is home to over 1,600 different species of fish. But a little bit closer to home, we have our own very large coral reef system right off the coast of Florida, and that is the Florida Reef. The Florida Reef is actually the third largest coral reef system in the world and is the largest one in the continental United States. If you ever get the chance to go snorkeling over the, the Florida Reef, you will get to see nurse sharks, turtles, and lots and lots of other species of fish. Now that we learned a little bit more about coral reefs, let's go ahead and dive on into our craft. Now we are going to go ahead and begin our craft. Starting off, the first materials you will need are your rubber bands, your tissue paper, and your egg crate or your origami boat. First, you're going to take a piece of your tissue paper and fold it in half hot dog style. Then, you're going to want to pinch in the center and start to twist out both of your sides. But, you can do it however you like. Feel free to experiment, twist it your own way, however you want to make it look. Then, once you have it all nice and twisted up, you're going to want to place at least two rubber bands on each side to create segments on your coral. Now this is what it will look like when you are done putting on the rubber bands. You can make as many of these as you like with as many rubber bands as you want. I went ahead and made a couple more just so we can help fill in our coral reef. So now I'm going to go ahead and begin placing them inside our coral reef system. But this isn't the only shape and size and color of coral reefs that you can make. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a frilly coral reef. We have one more frilly coral that we can put in there and then to fill up the rest of the space, we have some brain coral. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this to help our taller pieces of coral stand up within our coral reef system. And now we are done making our beautiful coral reef. But I think it's missing something very important. Oh, that's right, our fish. So now we're gonna begin the portion of our craft where we are making our fish friends. So you will need your fish cutouts, pipe cleaners, tape, and scissors. First, we are going to begin by cutting out our fish. After you're done cutting out your fish, you're going to take it and wrap it around your pipe cleaner and then you're going to tape it so it stays nice and secure around the pipe cleaner. And now your little fish can swim in the coral reef. Now if you have your battery powered LED lights, with the parent's help, go ahead and begin placing them inside your coral reef. You can take some of your brainy coral and place them inside and put them back into your coral reef. 
you can hang them around some of the taller pieces of coral that we may have, or you can put it underneath other pieces of coral to give it that glowing effect. Now, as you can see, we are all done with our coral reef, but we have one last thing to add, our fish friends. So you can go ahead and stick them wherever you like in your coral reef. Try to stick them into the tissue paper so they have a place to stand and watch out for the wires. But you can make them however you like. Once you're done, it should look something like this. But we added in those fairy lights, so let's see how it looks in the dark. And there you have it, our beautiful glowing coral reef. Good job, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a splash learning all about coral reefs and building your very own glowing coral reef. Make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel so you can see new videos every other Friday. My name is Miss Kaylee and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!